brochacerinos and brochacerinas and welcome to this quick one-on-one -on -one TSM mastery guide where I will tell you everything you need to know without the need of you spending hours upon hours to learn TSM. This guide has originated uh, from the idea Shingen gave me on stream the other day. Oh yeah, by the way, I've started streaming again for those who don't know, link will be in the description. I will not go into details much here because I will only cover the main parts of working with TSM that you need to operate the auction house. If you want to know more detailed stuff, I will have full 2-3 hours uh, guide that you can check out in the card on the top right corner or in the description. I will go through the whole process of taking 5 items of the same type into a group, make auctioning or posting operation for it, fast cancel and couple bonus tips about TSM. Let's use these 5 Leilai shards. Before we start, I will make a blank profile so I don't mess out the groups I already have and for testing of course, so if you want to do the same, head over to options, profiles and in the new field type name. I will name mine testing. After all that, all the groups and operations stuffs are gone, but don't forget to switch to your main profile if you have one after you're done following this tutorial. First thing that you need to know when you open up TSM is understanding groups. Groups are found here in TSM and they represent something similar to boxes that you can throw items inside so you can price them as a package. Group can be made out of one item or infinite amount of items. Here is how to create a group. Go into groups, type a name and click enter. Voila, it's done. Now after you're done a group, you should get the items into the group. You have a couple ways of doing it. This here on the left side is a container of the items you have in the bags. Unless they're already assigned to another group, you will find them here. One way of adding the item is clicking in the uh, container item and then press add. That will add that item to the group. Second way is to go to import of the group, click on the fields for text here and shift click the item from the bag. Third way is to go on wowhead, find the item ID. This is the item ID from the link in your browser. Just paste it here in the import field, press enter and voila. There are lots of things more about groups, but these are the essentials you need to know about adding an item to a group. Just a quick note, make sure after the link it's stated item, because some items are being crafted or being created by a spell. If you get the spell ID, it's not the same as item ID, so make sure it's saying item after the link. If you want to add multiple items to a group, Trade Skill Master Team did an amazing job of providing you with a tool for it on their website. All you have to do is go to Wowhead, search for specific items, copy them from the list, then go to TSM website, use this tool on the top, paste the stuffs here, and then just copy the item IDs that TSM website gives you from this field and paste them into the import section from the group you want to add them to. Now you have added the item to the group, you're probably wondering what the fuck I can do with this. Well, you will probably want to post them automatically on Auction House, right? And you're wondering how the hell I'm gonna do that. Well, that is what the operations are being for. Auctioning specifically is for posting stuffs on Auction House, shopping for buying, mailing for mailing, warehousing for storage, crafting for crafting and professions, and vendoring is for buying or selling stuffs to vendor. In this one-on-one -on -one session, We'll get a bit deeper into auctioning, but if you want to learn more about the other stuff, let me know and I'll get right onto it. So how do we post stuff, you might ask? First, we need to make an auctioning operation. Name it as you wish. I usually name them by the prices I'm using them. Let's say Umren 75, 110, 350, stack of 1. I will tell you what that all means in a second. Now let's see what options we got here. Duration is straightforward. Time that the item stays in the auction house before it expires and comes back to your mailbox. Post cap is how many of these items maximum this operation should post for you at one time. If you want to have only 3 items or 5 items in the auction house all the time, set this to 5. Don't set it too high because it's stupid to have 500 stacks of something on auction house and also it's bannable as well. Stack size is the size of the stack. There are items that cannot be stacked by the way, like for example armor, weapons, etc. So for those items you need to make operation where this is set to 1. For other stackable items, you can set this to whatever you want. Depends on the item, you can set it to 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, 200 is the maximum. Uh, and those are the common numbers, but you can use anything in between, you know, like 75, for example. Other stuffs of these fields you don't need. Now, this is the fun stuff, pricing. You will notice me using as price something called Umren. Now, before we get into the pricing fields of this operation, I have to explain how to make this shortcut. If you go to TSM features and custom price sources, you'll notice that your list there is empty. Mine is not. Because even if I made new profile, this is not connected to a profile, but it's rather completely bound to the whole account. What these price sources mean? Well, first you should type slash TSM sources and see what all the sources the add-on have. I will just cover quickly here the ones you need to focus mostly on. After you check them out, you'll notice that if you want to combine some sources to create your own pricing string, like the one I have here, 
it looks long and ugly and you'll probably wouldn't like to copy pasta all that string all the time when you want to make operation but rather we'll short it out to umrin here so this is my own string that i have created some time ago and it's quite accurate for me and never lets me down so if i want to short it out and instead of pasta all this ugliness all the time i want to use umrin here's how i do it make new price string take the name of the shortcut of the string you want here and then copy past the string sentence that you want to short it out. Now after it is done, every time you create operation like we are doing here, you can type umbrin instead of that long and ugly stuff. Just briefly, DB minimum buyout means the current price on the auction house for that item or the minimum buyout is on auction house for that item pretty much. DB market is market price of that item which is quite general price of that item. Some of those you can see in my item tooltip under the mouse covering there and you have lots of others that you can find on TSM website for more reference or around the forums and stuff. Some of these price strings are better, some are worse, but all of them are useful, dependable on situation, and I'm using them all in my daily usage of TSM. For those who want to use my string for pricing things, you will find the string in the link in the description. Now, after you have created a price source, it is time to use them in our auctioning operation and make some auctions. Head over to the operations and auctioning, and under minimum price, I personally use 75 to 85% of Umren string for general use, 110% for normal price, and maximum price is usually set to 350. You can modify these numbers according to your needs, of course. Now, we also have to specify to this operation what will happen to the item if the price of the auction house is less then your minimum or more than your maximum price specified here. This is the setting for below minimum and you can choose either of those. I'm usually posting them for minimum price in case someone buys everything is below and it's my turn. I get some extra sales sometimes like that but if the things you're posting have an auction fee that is really high then this might not be the smartest option because quite often you'll have to repost those and you'll lose some deposit cash. In that case you can select to not post those items. When it's above maximum this is the field and it's, I usually post it for maximum price. Now this operation is done. Now let's apply this operation to the group with items or boxes we mentioned earlier. You have two ways of applying this operation. Go to management of the operation and select the group you want to apply it to or you can go under the group settings and apply the operation that you want. After that is done you just have to go to the auction house to the auctioning tab and if the group and operation are applied properly by following this guide you should have the group listed here. Just select the group that you want to post the items from and click on the start post scan. After that click on the post button until everything is done. And these are all the essentials you have to know before you start making your own groups operation price sources and post items on auction house. Now I have a couple bonus tips for you. Bonus 1. You remember that I've mentioned that you can make groups and subgroups and how the subgroups are taking attributes from the main groups above them? Well this is why is that. If you for example made a group enchanting and then made a subgroup called shards and then another subgroup called Leylight, then you can apply the auctioning operation to enchanting and it will be applied automatically to all the subgroups below that, like shards and Leylight. You can of course override this rule by checking this box and applying different operation to specific groups, but by using this function, I've saved loads of time and effort for myself to actually apply this one by one to every group separately, so I hope this helps to you too. Bonus 2. Well, we covered auctioning, but the fun thing about auctioning or cancelling or buying out stuff is that you can make it almost automatically. If you want to post 20 different items by clicking the post button 20 times, probably your finger will fall off. To prevent that medical condition, the TSM team made a special macro option here that when you select your modifier, whether shift, out or control, or all together and scroll up and down, you can do all those functions automatically. Let me demonstrate. I will select control here and select only posting and cancelling here. I will not select shopping or buy out because it sometimes can buy stuff that you don't want and you might end up sad spending your whole gold on things you don't need. I'm not using this function and I suggest you to not do it as well for start. After selecting these buttons click create and bind macro. I will explain how to practically use this in bonus 3. Specifically this bonus was inspired by Shingen on stream saying dude TSM sucks. I have posted some stuffs and I want to cancel them. I have been searching for auctions and cancelling my auctions whole day by click cancel, cancel, cancel manually. I understand that sometimes lack of knowledge over certain things can make the task more tedious than they are. So in order to dispel the Shingen myth, let me show you how to use the macro from bonus 2. You have posted some stuffs on auction house, right? Instead of going now and searching for the item on the auction house in shopping or in your auctions and cancelling them one by one, this is how you do it. Go into auctioning in the cancel filter type part of the name of the item and when you see the items in this list hold control because 
that is what we defined in the macro as a modifier and then scroll up and down uh, with the mouse wheel until everything is done here. You can do the same with posting items. Instead of clicking post, 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 post all the time, just let the auctioning operation decide the prices, verify that everything is correct and control scroll and voila. If you want to cancel all the auctions, just click on the cancel everything here and scroll like never before. Your auction tab is now clear and your mailbox is full. By the way, I do hope that no shingens were heard during dispelling this myth. The intentions were made pure out of love, no homo. That is all I had for this video guys, hope you liked it. And if you did, show me with the button below video that has a thumb sticking out and of course comment some more ideas or help you need with TSM or pretty much anything for the game, it will be my honor to help you out. Stay cool, subscribe for more stuff and love you much no homo. See ya in the next one. Umrinov.